A mental health support group in Plymouth has launched a crowdfunding campaign to restart their weekly art sessions. The Mindful Art Club uses art and conversation and meets at the Moments Community Cafe in the city centre. The group hopes to raise £7,000 to continue the club. Stay with us. It's just the music you need to chill out on a Sunday morning. First day, coffee, creativity and company. That is what the Mindful Art Club in Plymouth promises. They've now launched a crowdfunder to raise funds to keep going. Peggy Melmoth is a facilitator at the club. We'll talk with her in just a second. We've also got Kerry here, Kerry Evans, who started out as uh, a group member uh, group member uh, with the club. So, Kerry, what, what took you there in the first place? Talk me through it. I was doing a course in the Women's Sunflower Centre. Um, I was doing a different course. I'd never heard of Mindful Art before. Um, and, unfo well, fortunately for me, uh, the lady who runs the group wasn't in that week. And Emma saw me in the hallway and asked if I wanted to come and join the art group. And at first I, I turned it down. So I was like, no, I can't draw for a toffee. Got no chance. <laughs> but she explained, you and me both. Yeah, she, she explained, you don't need to be good at art. So I thought, well, I'm here now. I'll give it a go. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Why is it's, that? It's, just, I, it's the camaraderie. It gets me out the house. I'm not isolated anymore. I had no friends, really. I've made lots of friends. Emma and Peggy have been so supportive to me. I've been through a lot the past two years and um, Emma and Peggy and Mindful Art itself, everyone there has really helped me get through a lot of uh, isolation issues, depression, uh, anxiety uh, was a big one as well. But uh, I don't want to be isolated anymore. I want to go to every group I can attend, which is as many as possible I can go to. Uh, Peggy, tell me, you know, is, is that story we've just heard from Kerry there, is, is that typical of the people that come to the Mindful Art Group? It is, yeah. It's really rewarding for us to hear little personal stories from the people who come. There's a lot of people who come who are quite isolated, often with anxiety and depression, and it's really hard to get out of the house if you've got anxiety or depression. But if they do make it out to a Mindful Art Club, it's really brave because it's absolutely terrifying to walk into a room of people you don't know and think, you know, that it takes a lot to just get there. But then yeah. when they, they do find, a lot of people say to me, they find the group really welcoming the people who come are really non-judgmental we always say to people you don't have to talk if you don't want to so they mm. don't feel pressured Absolutely. but um but the people tend to talk about um just how they're feeling and then we do a bit of mindfulness and a bit of art and and have a coffee and a chat so um so yeah and then there's so many little stories of people saying oh when i came like kerry i, I was feeling really bad i didn't have many friends and now i've made new friends and and um, just feeling better in their lives. I can absolutely. absolutely engage with that thing. It's quite hard to walk into a room with people you don't know. I absolutely. Mean, I, think, I think many people would would feel that, regardless of whether they've been through some of the stuff that you've been Definitely. through, Kerry, as well. Absolutely. And the problem is it can be cyclical, can't it? Because you find yes. yourself stuck in the house, you don't want to go out, and actually that makes you more isolated, and it, it exactly. can kind of build up, can't it? Absolutely. It's a big continual circle, a circle, you know, and once you go to one group and you you realise how welcoming everybody is and how calm it is. And I think for me, what drew me to come back more was the fact that everybody did share a story of how they were feeling for that week. And, you know, you'd sit there and realise, actually, I'm not on my own. I feel like that too. And then you see other people that have got other stories to tell and you say, actually, I'm not doing so yeah. bad. You know, so it really helps you in there. Uh, uh, the, the thing that really drew me back as well was Emma. Um, I think a lot. There's a lot of groups out there where you've got the main leader, and they're quite, I'd say, quite professional and stiff with the, you, you know, you're bored and they ask you questions, but they don't tell you anything about their their own lives or their own troubles. Where Emma opened up and said, actually, I've a, I've had a really bad week, and this is how I feel. And for me, that really touched me and thought, yeah, that's what's going to bring me back here. You're going to engage with someone who you believe knows how you're feeling exactly you? absolutely and that said uh, that was the main part i came back to and the meditation relaxation it's mindfulness should i say not meditation yeah. um yeah it's just an overall win for me you know it's fantastic peggy mindfulness is a it's a phrase it's a word we hear quite a lot these days what, what does it mean to you yeah, it's um, it's quite simple, really, because it um, it is a big thing and it's talked about a lot. But it just means focusing on being in the present moment, um, having more awareness of where you are 
in the here and now. So being mindful is just um, it's like letting go of the past and not worrying about the future. So just bringing your focused attention back to where you are right now. So that's why you can do anything mindfully. Like you can do mindful art or mindful breathing or mindful walking or, you know, mindful washing the dishes. It's just about... Um, the art is just a conduit. It's a... It's a it's, yeah. Yeah, so mindful art mm. is just something we do in the group. But um, our groups are a mixture of um, a check-in, guided mindfulness and mindful art. Um, so, but the check as Kerry was saying, the check-in is really important. The check-in yeah. is when everyone arrives in the group. Um, me and Emma are both trained mental health professionals and I'm a counsellor so um, what we do is we go around the room first of all and everyone says how their week has been and how they're feeling and we always say there's no obligation to talk if you don't want to mm. but um, but it's that thing where of the opening up that um, once you've gone around half the room and everyone it turns out everyone's got a problem everyone's got a story and then people have said to me I wasn't going to talk and I wasn't going to share but now that I've heard that actually everyone's got something going on I don't feel so alone like like you know I think you can assume that everyone's life is perfect and that nobody else has got troubles and then but when you come to Mindful Art Club and you hear everyone's dealing with something yeah. you feel more connected yeah connection absolutely connection's a big word for, mm. for Mindful Art definitely I think we all kind of want to be reassured that we're not a weirdo don't we that we're, we're not the odd one out yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely thought I've been a weirdo with the things I've come out with at times. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you get people laughing or then they'll say, Oh, I was like that, you think, Oh good, I'm not I'm not as crazy as I thought I was, you know, everyone's the same really. So yeah, and they're, they're open and I really love the, the openness of everybody and yeah, it brings us together. Well, and then the art that we do, it's like you don't need any talent for it. No. So we just we bring all the art materials and it'll just be something like colouring in with felt tips or drawing a pattern or something or cutting up a collage so it's it's we always do the art just for fun and not to try and get an amazing piece of artwork done has your, yeah. art, has your art seen, is it improved Kerry? it really has actually yes. I've quite been Side quite bonus. impressed <laughs> absolutely but yeah my creativity is more high now I wouldn't say I can draw like you know I'm still matchstick men um, but my creativity is coming out they're more better really. matchstick men they uh, are better <laughs> matchstick men they've got fingers now <laughs> <laughs> Peggy, I know you've launched this fundraiser because, uh, you know, listening to you talking, I can hear the passion in your voices and I can hear the impact Kerry it's had on your life. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure this is something that's around to deliver for more people in Plymouth for years to come. Tell me what you're doing. Yeah, so we, we have been going, we've been running several different groups for about, for more than three years, but our most popular group is at Moments Cafe in the centre of Plymouth which is um, a sort of CIC um, company that uh, helps people with dementia. But the, the cafe is a really welcoming community space. And we've got a group there on Friday afternoons, and it's stopped at the moment, but we want to, we're going to restart it with the help of the crowdfunder. And the Friday afternoon group is really, really popular, and it's a lifeline to many people. I hear that a lot from the people like Kerry that come. Like, it's just a place where they can come every Friday. So we've launched a crowdfunder. It's going quite well, and we're just trying to raise money to carry the group on. Now, I know, Carrie, you've already been engaged with raising money. And uh, this is radio, of course, so people can't see your hair. But you've got, you've got quite a, a severe haircut at the I'm, moment. I surely have, yeah. My hair suits you, actually. Long. looks good. Thank you. I've had a lot of people saying that. And, yeah, I'm taking it. So. You've got about, I yeah. don't know, is it about a number, about a number two? Or, or uh, number one or uh, number It is yeah. two now, but it was a number one when we first done it. It's been about three weeks. I yeah. Think. It's been about three weeks. It's grown slightly. How long was your hair um, before? It was halfway down my back. Oh, so, right. Okay, yeah, so that's serious hair. It was... Uh, <laughs> quite long yeah um yeah i was extremely nervous but i actually now i'm embracing it and you know if you told me four years ago i'd be speaking on the radio having my hair shaved going out every day with choice yeah i would have told you you need the man in white coats to come and get me because i wouldn't have believed you for a second i was uh, isolated um i was literally a recluse in my house i, w I was severely down um and, you know, if it weren't for my flat, I wouldn't have done none of this and I wouldn't have had the confidence I've got now and there's no way I would have shaved my head. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, and to, so to raise money for Mindful Art Club, Kerry, we had a, um, a comedy and music evening and Kerry yeah. had all of her hair shaved off in front of a live audience. <laughs> so from not going out and being anxious and depressed, Kerry sort of had her hair shaved To being off. literally <laughs> centre stage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's my worst fear, so <laughs> I've got over that, you know. <laughs> and, yeah, now. long waist-length hair shaved off completely and a yeah. lot of people 
people donated and it was amazing. Yeah, I want us to thank everybody um, for all the donations. Really appreciate everything we've uh, we've had. Thank you. Lisa, it's been an absolute pleasure having you both in. A real joy. Thank you. Peggy, if people want to find out more, where to go? Yeah, mindfulartclub.co.uk. And then um, there's a link to the crowdfunder at the top of the website, and people can. There's a lovely video of Kerry, so you can. And that, it's Kerry before she lost her hair. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah, you can find out what we do and why we do it. Fantastic, Peggy, Kerry, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.